Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to Growing Wisdom. Today we're going to talk about leaf miner. You may be wondering what's eating a couple of things in your garden, and whether it's roses, beets, or other greens, leaf miner can really cause some big damage. So leaf miner is a larvae form of usually what's a little wasp or some other sort of flying insect. And what happens is, is the flying insect lays eggs, generally little white eggs on the back of the plant. The eggs hatch. That little larvae is getting right inside the leaf in between the two sides of it, and it's eating it all. And you can see here on this particular leaf, notice how I sort of play with this a little with my fingernail, the little larvae is right there, and that's been eating these leaves, and that's why they look like this. You may see this on your roses as well. Notice here on these rose plants how it sort of has a lace-like look to the leaves. We have the healthy leaves and the non-healthy leaves. Again, that is leaf miner. Very common on roses, very common on beets as well. So leaf miner also likes other things in the beet family. For example, your Swiss chard could also have a lot of leaf miner on it. So now that you know what it is, what do you do? One thing, it is definitely very difficult to control leaf miner, but you can do a few things. Number one, you can get these traps. So this is a sticky trap, it's blue, it attracts the adult leaf miner. It will fly here, it will get stuck to it, it won't lay the eggs on your plant. I don't recommend placing it directly in the middle of the roses or directly in the middle of your beets because it will pull the bugs right there. But place it you know, a few feet away so that the bugs are attracted to the blue sticky trap and not attracted to your plants. Eventually, if you have enough leaf miners or even thrips, the sticky traps will collect them all and you'll have to get some new sticky traps. Some folks have reported good success with something as simple as two cups of vegetable oil and a half a cup of liquid soap. This creates a white sticky film. This then coats the leaves and kills the leaf miner larvae. You do not want to ever spray anything with an oil in it in the middle of the day because you'll basically burn your leaves. So I recommend doing it late, late in the day. Then it will dry overnight. It'll also have a few hours in the morning before the sun gets really strong. That tends to protect the leaves. So that's one thing you can do. So the other thing that tends to work pretty well is something called neem oil. Just follow the directions on whatever brand of neem oil you buy and it will also help to smother some of the eggs of the leaf miner itself. So there are tactics out there to help control leaf miner. One thing you definitely want to do is cut off the damaged leaves and destroy them. Do not put them in the compost pile. You will just be putting them there for that little larvae to kind of eat through, pupate, and eventually create a new adult. So destroy the leaves that the leaf miner has gotten into, and if there's big damage. Very often you can get a new set of leaves to come out. The plant will not die unless you have just horrible damage, and then you may have to actually remove all the plant and start all over again. But now you know what leaf miners are. Good luck. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.